，我们现在在澳洲布里斯班，现在最出名、最出名的一个项目就是我们的皇后码头 （Queen's Wharf Brisbane） 啊，这、就是我们基本上在一六年到现在来说的话，是现在最火、最火的项目。那我们今天很有荣幸呢，请到我们 Queen's Wharf 的项目的项目经理 Chris 啊、uh, ，Chris。Hey, ah,、uh, he will help us to introduce ourselves. So, hello, Chris. Um, can you give us actually some of the best background of the, about the project and of the developer and、uh, how this project being funded? So, yeah. Yeah,、yes. sure, sure, Ken. So,、um, Queen's Wharf is a, a very renowned project, and、um, it's something that Brisbane has been looking forward to for many years. Uh, and it's actually part of a joint venture between three different parties.、Um, there's the Star Entertainment Group,、uh, which is an Australian-based organisation. Obviously, runs the Star in Sydney,、uh, in the Gold Coast, and also here in Brisbane.、Uh, and then, of course, there's also Chow Tai Fook,、um, which are the owners of the Rosewood、uh, Group of Hotels, and of course,、mm-hmm. Chow Tai Fook Jewellery, which many of you、uh, may be aware of.、Uh, and then also Far East Consortium. Um, Far East Consortium is a Hong Kong entity, but they have been developing in Australia for over 35 years. Okay, 我这边快速翻译一下，我只是 do the translate. 啊，我们皇后码头这项目呢，是基本上是坐落于我们的澳洲的三十年计划。那同时呢，有三个最大的一个合作方呢，第一个是我们本地的我们的皇皇后码头的赌场，还有呢，另外两个呢，大家就比较。著名的知道就是一个是周大福集团啊，周大福集团呢有很多的 hotel chain， 就是有很多的，就是旅店还有就是酒店的一个生意。那当然周大福还有大家比较熟悉的就是他在珠宝上面来说是非常出名的。第二个呢就是我们的远东集团啊，远东集团呢本身来说呢是在东南亚还有在亚洲是非常大的开发商。同时呢，远东集团已经在澳大利亚投资了很多，开发了很多项目，三十五年。Yeah. Uh, so between the three of them, obviously very secure、uh, developers. They're also the same group of developers that are bringing the Star Gold Coast and the transformation with integrated resort development down there to life. Yeah. 同时呢，这个项目呢，还有一个当然最大的一个合作方就是我们的 The Star 的新城集团的。呃，赌场的，就是 The Star Hotel， 就是我们赌场的集团啊、呃，这也是呢，基本上在这个项目里面最特别的是，基本上它是跟赌场和 Entertainment Integrate 就是合作在一起的。Yeah. Right. Um, of course, it's a, a precinct here which is currently under construction,、um, so it's not like there's a specific number of pre-sales that had to be met before construction started.、Uh, and it's a 3.6 billion dollar project that's also supported by the state government. So it's a precinct that's definitely going ahead. It's got some of the the three strongest、um, partners together working together、um, to to fund the project,、uh, and it's also being built with a tier one builder、uh, named Multiplex. Okay. Ah,、uh, this project, to say, is the whole. Total 的一个项目的一个资金用度是 three point six seven billion， 所以 three point six seven billion， 大家有可能要计算机算一下是澳币哈。然后完了以后呢，同时呢，他 Chris 讲说有三个最大的开发商合作起来做这个项目，所以这个项目是会是非常 amazing， 然后非常大的。呃，同时呢，基本上呢，你可以，大家可以看到后面呢，基本上项目已经是开始的，坐落在这个位置。So, do you wanna talk about so regarding about this project, what they actually integrate together? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So,、um, one of the reasons why this precinct、um, Tuber is so exciting for Brisbane is because Brisbane's been waiting for a truly、um, world class precinct for many years now. So,、um, similar to what the Sydney Opera House is to Sydney, and what Federation Square is to Melbourne, Queens Wharf will also be、um, be that to Brisbane.、Um, so, it's a precinct that takes up ten percent of Brisbane's CBD. So, it's an absolute massive amount of space,、uh, and we'll have twelve football fields of public space within it. Wow, twelve football field. 哦、oh, ，好，那 Chris 在这边快速的说一下哈，就是说这个呢会是整个我们布里斯班的一个地标，地标的建筑物啊，有、呃、下面的一个资讯蛮多的。第一个呢，他说，比如地标呢怎么说，就像我们雪梨，雪梨就是我们的雪梨歌剧院啊、呃，还有呢就是墨尔本，就是墨尔本的 Federal Square。当然呢，在这边来讲呢，整个项目，整个项目的 amenity 啊，就是说整个项目的建筑的一个面积呢。是占有我们 Brisbane CBD 的十分之一 ，so ten percent of the Brisbane CBD. Wow, so 百分之十分之一的土地面积
，差不多有十二个足球场 ，twelve football football field， 十二个足球场这么大。所以呢，整个项目来说的话，不是除了只有 hotel， 还有居住的地方，还有很多的整个全部的市政的一个建设，全部包含在这里面。So some of the other highlights of the precinct also are fifty different restaurants and bars.、Um, there's also a collection of heritage style buildings, which is the largest collection within Australia. That'll be all restored and returned into things like boutique shopping centres. Breweries, cafes, art galleries, as well,、uh, as well as a very iconic sky deck that sits 102 meters above ground.、Um, something to, to sort of、um, uh, really mimic what、uh, a city like Singapore has, but it's all public space. It will feature three different food and beverage outlets and a wine bar. Will be open 24 hours a day and will be an absolute showstopper and feature piece of the precinct itself. 这个整个皇后码头这个项目里面呢 ，Chris 说有五十个、五十个餐厅和咖啡厅和酒吧。然后呢，同时呢，基本上来说呢，他在这边有讲一个很重要的说，可以看到就是说，布里斯班里面有很多的就是 heritage building， 所谓的 heritage building 就是我们的。古迹类的一个建筑，那古迹类的建筑在这边呢，他们就是说了，这在这个项目里面呢，他们会把它全部的装修变成是最精品化的一个商场。啊、呃，在这边来说的话，可以看到前面的一些呃建筑物，还有旁边呢这些建筑物全部会被装修为是像 shopping center 或者是商场这一类的一些的环境。So regarding about shopping, how big is the shopping space? So the shopping space within the precinct is forty thousand square meters. So it's the size of a shopping center in its own right. So the whole project is made up of forty thousand square meters of shopping shopping space. So in the whole project, it includes a big shopping center and a shopping center. That's amazing. It's amazing, and Star are even talking to a lot of international retailers that don't yet have a presence in Australia, that are interested in potentially making Queens Wharf their,、uh, yeah, their home or having some retail outlets within the precinct because it is going to be a truly international precinct for Brisbane and Australia. Wow. That, 基本上呢，星辰呃集团呢 ，The Star， 他们也基本上借由这个机会呢，也跟很多国际的知名品牌呢。呃，还没有进到澳洲的品牌正在商讨中，在未来呢，这项目完成的时候呢，可以邀请他们进到我们布里斯班这个大型的 Queen's Wharf， 就是皇后码头的商场里面，这是一个非常激动的一个信息。Okay, um, so do you want to show us around regarding about more about the residential hotel area? So we、okay, can move around. We've got a great、um, couple of great models here within the dis display. So, the precinct in comparison to other areas of the CBD,、uh, and of course, you've got some really good connection to some other really important piece of, pieces of infrastructure, such as South Bank, the Queensland Performing Arts Precinct,、um, which is Australia's most visited、um, performing arts precinct. You've got the Queen Street Mall, which is Australia's most successful shopping mall,、uh, only a short ten-minute stroll away as well, as well as other branding infrastructure. Projects such as、um, Cross River Rail,、uh, Brisbane Live, which is a new entertainment precinct,、uh, as well as much, much more like the QUT University and so forth. Well, we can see that we can see that in the whole precinct, we can see that 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 we can see 所以呢，刚刚提到了是黄呃南岸的南岸公园啊、呃、南岸，还有呢我们在对隔壁的话呢，就是我们的 QUT 大学，走路基基本上呢差不多是两分钟的距离。然后呢，还有就是我们刚刚之前提到的 Cross River Rail， 就是我们的重市政建设里面最重要的一个，就是火车站，就是电车的总站都在这附近啊、哦。所以你可以看到这个社区来说的话，它是在最中心的。Yep. Thank、you
This model essentially shows everything that's going into that great big construction site that sits alongside this, the display that we're in right here. Um, and this is really the, that brand new piece of construction um, that's designed to be world class, something that's very instantly recognisable. Um, it features uh, a number of hotels, so you've got um, the Rosewood Hotel, which will be the first Rosewood in Australia, um, the Star Grand Hotel, which is a five star offering, the Ritz Carlton. Hotel, uh, as well as the Dorset Hotel. Oh, 他刚刚呢 ，Chris 提到来说的话，其实这里面来讲的话，包含除了我们的 residential 以外，然后呢有很大的 shopping center， 然后当然是 hotel group 是特别的。在这里面呢，基本上会有四个大的 hotel， 就是我们酒店的集团会入住到这里面来。除了 Chris Charlton， 还有呃 Chris Charlton， 还有呢就是 Six Star Rosewood 啊、uh,。Correct，是放弃了。Correct，哦，就是六星级的Rosewood酒店集团，这个酒店集团呢，是我第一次进到整个澳大利亚，然后也是坐落在我们布里斯班，还有呢，当然是我们的。Chris Charlton, uh, Chris Charlton, uh, Rosewood and another. Uh, Dorset Hotel. Dorset Hotel. Ritz Carlton, and then we've got the Star Grand. Oh, the Star Grand is our hotel hotel. Oh, its place, of course, is because it's the owner's house. Its place is the best. We're in the Brisbane River, just in the right side. That's amazing. It is amazing. There's also a number of world-class gaming and casino areas throughout the precinct, um, throughout these areas through here, and of course, just below the sky deck. And then if you, you've got that very iconic level 26 sky deck um, that features in the top of the precinct. So that's where those three um, food and beverage outlets, wine bar will be the place to be seen and take um, photos in Brisbane. It's got a glass floor as part of it as well. Uh, and then that um, all sort of integrates up with this tallest building here on the right hand side, which is the Queen's Wharf Residences Tower. Beautiful. 啊，刚我在翻译的时候没有翻到哈，在这里面一个最出名的呢，就是会是像新加坡一样的，就是我们的一个 Sky Deck， 就是 Sky Sky Deck。I'm thinking how we can translate to Chinese. Well, a public area in sky， 哦，就是说我们在空中，空中呃走廊啊，我们可以看到在二十六第二十六层楼的空中走廊。连接的 Rosewood Hotel， 还有这一栋高楼呢，就是刚刚他提到的，就是我们的 Queen's Wharf 的 Residential， 就是我们的居住呃居住大楼。在这上面呢，是离地面是102 so 102 meters high， right？ The, the sky deck， yes。Yeah， 102 meters high。所以呢，基本上连接102这高度是102公尺。然后呢，看了坐落镇，看整个南岸和 CBD， 然后还有看 Brisbane 河，是非常漂亮的。然后再提到的就是 the start the casino entertainment area。casino 会是居于在这一整区哦，这是我们的 casino area。Also 就在 below below the sky deck 这边呢，也是 casino area。Sorry, correct, correct. beautiful. Ah,、uh, so that's for the VIP, the high level. Yeah, 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 the one actually does. That's beautiful. And out here is the hotel area, right? Co correct. So there's a number of sort of hotel recreation areas and also public spaces throughout the precinct. Um, some of this is hotel amenity, but of course you can imagine that if you wanted to go and buy a cocktail and, and, and spend some time sort of by the cocktail bar there, by the pool, that's something you would be able to do. So uh, does the residents can use Area or just for if they go and buy a cocktail, they of course, if they spend that space, beautiful.、Um, but then, of course, the building has its own residential amenity as、yeah. part of the precinct as well. Okay.、Um, so the base of our Queen's Walk Residences Tower,、um, essentially underneath there, you've got a number of sort of event spaces. There's the retail, the cafes, the fresh food markets that integrate throughout the precinct. But level seven is where the first level of residential amenities begin. Okay. 他讲的说，我们可以看到，我们现在开始讲我们的 Queen's Wharf 皇后码头的 Residence 呃公寓大楼哈。它从 Ground Floor 到七楼这一部分呢，包含是商场还有停车场以外呢，我们是从第七楼啊这边开始呢，整个七楼和它的七楼七啊、uh, ，think the level seven is seven a m Yes. Seven and seven and yes. There's two full levels of residential amenity. 两总共两层楼是全部是给。这个皇后码头公寓大楼的用户所 private 使用啊，所以呢，泳池很多很漂亮的地方啊，这个楼 ，Yep，and more about the 
the residential buildings? Yeah, so after those residential amenities, um, you've got 64 levels yep. of apartments, yep. uh, 660 residences, uh, and they're essentially broken down into three different tiers of the tower. Okay? Um, so the three different tiers have got a different level of finishes, uh, and of course get different views, and we've got some different apartment designs throughout them as well. Okay, uh, this is the residence. Diamond shopping center, the we seen so that's one bed, two bed, and three bed. Yeah, mixture of one bedroom, one bedroom plus study, two bedroom, and three bedroom residences. Um, of course, we've had a, a quite an unprecedented level of interest so far, so we are um, restricted on some apartment designs, but there is still some really great opportunities remaining if you wanted to be part of this iconic precinct. So, can you actually uh, show us? So I know the, the, the project has been populated almost about a few weeks. And how is the sales going? And how's the responses? Um, how many been sold? How many actually? Is there any other chance? Um, well, if the the clients want to look into it, are looking for one better, more, or three better, or two better? Yes, yeah, exactly. yes, yeah. good, great question. Um, so this has been a project that um, we've never seen the interest before in Brisbane. So I've been in Brisbane property now for over fifteen years. Um, and the, the uptake and the level of, of inquiry and interest and, and visitors that we've had through this display is something that, that was first to Brisbane. Um, so we're very, very um, lucky to have had a big uptake from both our local market um, as well, mainly that it's mainly locals that have purchased into the precinct so far with, of course, still a, a portion of, of um, uh, international interest, um, but there's been a much larger uptake of, of locals wanting to really be a part of this iconic part of Brisbane. Uh, so we've actually had uh, interest around 85 to 87% of the precinct now sold. Um, but there's wow. still around here, yeah, it's very amazing precinct um, and an amazing level of interest has as, as equaled that. Uh, but we still have about 80 opportunities remaining for anybody that wants to be part of the, the, um, the, the precinct itself. So um, we've got some great one bedroom, one bedroom plus study designs for anybody that might be looking for um, a, a fantastic investment. Um, there's going to be no better uh, precinct in Brisbane or in a Brisbane where you're going to get a return like you will at Queen's Wharf with everything that's going to be here in terms of the infrastructure and the connectivity to everything. Um, our two bedroom apartments have, uh, have been exhausted, but we do have some really great three bedroom designs available for anybody that might like you know, a little bit of a larger type residence where they can come and stay and live in the property themselves or a great place for them or their family to come visit and, and use when they come to visit Brisbane. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of 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 a little 快速能够享受到就是说未来这个项目呢全部的一些周遭的环境还有呢就是说商场和那个投资的一个理念来说的话呢它有很好在那边还有很多很好的一房和一房在家 如果呢，就基本上考量就是说未来呢，小孩子在那边一起居住，那这边呢也是有很多的选择。可惜就是两房的话呢，基本上已经被大家抢完了。但呢，大家不用想那么多，就百分之eighty five percent或是eighty seven